Hello and welcome to another Trinity Business alumni video interview. Today we join you after a TBA entrepreneurship breakfast hosted in Mason Hayes and Curran's offices here on Barrow Street. And we are joined by three of five panellists at this morning's event um, to reflect on what we've learned on entrepreneurship and to give some insight into the debate and discussion that we've had today. So I'm going to ask each of our three panellists to introduce themselves. Uh, I'm uh, Dylan Collins, I'm the CEO of Jolt Online Gaming. We're one of the leading online games publishers in the world. Prior to that, I was CEO of Demonware, uh, the biggest online games technology company in the world. Yeah. I'm Colin Meagle. I'm the founder and managing director of Continuum Technologies. Uh, they're an internet development agency here based in Dublin. Uh, before that, I worked in a couple of internet agencies and uh, IBM and some other corporates such as that. I'm Kevin Eary, founder and managing director of the Games of Group in UK and Ireland. Uh, we're the number one video game retailer in the country uh, by a long way and we continue, hope to continue and build upon that. So, so, so thank you very much. Um, this morning's event was a little bit different to some of the more recent TBA events in that we didn't have a speaker come up, speak for 20 minutes and then take questions. It was a fully interactive event that was uh, hosted and facilitated by David O'Donnell from Mason Hayes & Curran. So I'm going to put you guys on the spot now and ask you, of your fellow panellists, what was the most insightful comment that each of you heard? Jill, let me start with you again. Um, I thought that uh, Kevin's comments about uh, entrepreneurs being born, not made, was pretty interesting. Do you want to talk a bit more about that? Yeah, I'm a big believer that uh, you're born with a, a skill set. I think it's a skill set that can be developed, but I think you can't just pick somebody off <coughs> the street and say, I'm going to turn you into an entrepreneur. And I think that a skill set like that is, is something you don't have to have a broad, there's no, no, there's no clear definition of an entrepreneur. There's, there's various different traits and skills that an entrepreneur should have, but they can have them in different strengths. But I'm a definite, very firm believer, you cannot make somebody an entrepreneur. But we also talked about how important the supporting team is yes. as well in terms of the people around you who are responsible for actually executing the vision. I think that you agree with that. Uh, I think with being an entrepreneur, you have to get unlimited results out of quite often limited means, but it's not your job to do all of the all of the work. You give point people in the right direction, give them a bit of a vision, and more importantly, you make sure that you harness their talents and make sure they don't hit any brick walls, and you get the best out of all of those people and make them feel protected so that they can get the best out of themselves. Yeah, Dylan, I thought you brought up a very interesting point when you were talking about business plans. Uh, you know, concise. Yeah, business business, business plans should be as simple as possible. You should capture the essence of the idea in your very first line. If you can't do that, you're not ready to be showing that plan to anyone else. You should be able to capture the whole business in one page. Um, and again, if you can't do that, you don't understand the business yet. And you need to get to that point. And I think any investor who's looking at it, and we would have all looked at, 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 at investment opportunities, um, they want to see that. They, they absolutely need to see it. And if you're not at that point yet, you need to speak to people and get feedback as to what you can do with your plan to get to that, to, 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 to that point one page statement should cover it all. If you can't convince anyone within one page, despite the fact there's going to be very complicated business behind it, if you can't convince yourself in one paragraph, let alone anyone else in a few, then you're, you're onto a loss leader. Yeah, I think it's even, even tighter than that. You can't say it in a line or two, because mm -hmm. when you're trying to communicate A to an investor, that's mm -hmm. more, but more importantly, B to your consumer or mm -hmm. your customer mm -hmm. at some point, people are so busy nowadays that you only get yeah. seconds of their I mean, it, 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 it used to be it used to be thirty seconds. Yeah, you know, now it's probably three, what, five, three. three yeah, seconds most. Yeah. And if you don't get them in those three seconds, you need, you need something snappy. You need thing. something funny. You know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, maybe, maybe not. Maybe not funny. Certainly funny, snappy. But just yeah. they I realise we all can't do funny comedy. Yeah, yeah, I know you can't. <laughs> <laughs> but it's also comedy is hard, fellas. It's also very important to realise it doesn't always have to be something unique. You don't have to invent something new or come up with something brand new. It could just be a level of sophistication on something that already exists, or you may just do something slightly better in terms of services or an application. Yeah. Uh, it doesn't have to be, we've invented the next Facebook, or mm -hmm. we've invented sure. the next PlayStation 2. Mm -hmm. It could just be a very comprehensive, well-considered approach towards I think One of the things that, that's outstanding things for me today was that several people came up just chatting afterwards, saying, I, I think I'm an entrepreneur, but I'm waiting for that eureka moment. Mm -hmm. And that's what the advice that we gave them was, very few of us actually have that sort of that eureka moment of something yeah. that's completely mm -hmm. new and innovative. What we do is we look at opportunities and we fine tune processes or 
Well, yeah. we, 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 I mean, there, certainly, right? certainly for me, I just copy a whole bunch of other people, but I find some way to do it better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, you know, that, but, but I think, I mean, exactly. unless you're in the area of extremely deep technical and mathematical scientific research, you're not going to find something that's unique or totally different to anything yeah. else out yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. So look at the stuff that works, find a way that you can deliver on some aspect of it better than the other guy or guys, and go and do that. Start there. And also, the question we were asked afterwards was, you know, I'm not sure about the risk and should I take the risk or should I not? We had one guy there who was out of college a short while and he's wondering about the risk. Mm -hmm. The reality is he got the job he now has with less experience than he had when he, when he went for it. So there is absolutely no risk. Yeah, he has nothing to lose. Nothing to lose nothing at all. To lose. When I set the business up, my view was I have nothing, so I have nothing to lose. Mm -hmm. yeah. So let's go for it. Yeah. And if you go six months without, without a job afterwards, then so be it. You know, you'll, you'll find some work. If you, if you have the energy to be an entrepreneur, you have the energy to do something else. Sure. On the topic of risk, Colin, you left a stable and secure job in IBM uh, to come out and create something of your own, leaving what was a, a safe environment, um, arguably in a risk-averse culture, to go out and create something. Mm -hmm. That was a big decision for you to make, a big jump 